So Star Wars Battlefront 2 was revealed at E3, I did a video on it previously breaking down different aspects of the game. In this one we're going to talk about DLC that will be released as well as the new kind of system implemented in the multiplayer called Reinforcements. The DLC will be free, says EA, with all post-launch content becoming free to everyone who owns the game who has all the game updates and internet connection in EA account and for console players like the Xbox Live people you need like gold or for the PlayStation players you need a PlayStation Plus membership. So once those things are qualified for you can get the downloadable content. So some content is very general in the DLC. I mean the post launch content will include heroes, maps, weapons and vehicles that's pretty much the standard DLC from like the last one where it had weapons, heroes, maps and vehicles as well. It's pretty much the same on that front but the one thing that's revealed season one is going to be around The Last Jedi which of course is coming into theatres or cinemas in December in 2017. So basically this content includes the planet crate which you can see here in the trailer for the last jedi that you, you could see like the red dust being kicked up by some ships yeah that's crate that's the new planet so i'm guessing it's kind of like a sandy planet with like it's kind of like a salt flat in a way where there's just crust on top and then underneath there's something else that's basically what it is also finn and captain phasma are going to be added as like playable heroes for both the light and the dark side which is Fantastic, that's all we have on the first DLC at the moment, obviously more will be revealed once the game's out in a couple of months time, in about five months. But that's all that for the DLC, I mean, nothing much to it really, there's nothing that's been revealed yet. The next thing is reinforcements, now we've seen some of this in the gameplay trailer at E3 and... I didn't even know this was a thing because the super battle droids, I thought they were a standard thing, they're not. There are kind of like reinforcements and also the jump trooper as well that you've seen. Basically, it just brings new abilities. I think they're more like kind of powerful classes in a way. I kind of think it is like the, the, the special classes in Battlefront 2, the original one where you had to like earn so many points in the game to actually use that class. That's kind of what that is as well. But they are a mix between troopers and heroes. So you can have some heroes. I'm guessing the heroes will be kind of like part of the battle point system, but reinforcements. I think more heroes will be available with the reinforcements thing. So you've got like your two standard heroes and then you've got another couple of heroes. Think of it as like the uh, sabotage game mode where you had like multiple like heroes at the end if you like like all like four heroes on the battlefield. I think that's what that's getting at. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. Leave a like if you have. Subscribe for more Battlefront 2 updates. Apparently in a month's time there's going to be more news so expect more videos in a month's time, but that's going to be it from me. My name's The Simstorm, and I shall see you all next time.